Demonstrators clash with police again. Into the early hours of Wednesday morning in cities across Turkey, there was more violence, more arrests and more injuries. In Istanbul, police used water cannons and tear gas to disperse the crowd. Tonight, around 10 or 12 people were brought to Taksim First Aid Hospital. They were injured during the protests in Taksim. The conditions of two of them were serious. One of them had fractured their skull. The unrest was sparked by the funeral of 22-year-old Ahmed Atakan. Witnesses say he died after being struck by a police tear gas canister during a protest in southern Turkey on Monday. Police have denied responsibility, but his death provoked calls for a revival of the mass anti-government protest that swept the country over the summer. After the funeral, violence erupted over parts of the country. Here in the south, demonstrators launched fireworks at security forces, and they retaliated with familiar methods. By nightfall, the demonstrations had spread to Turkey's capital, Ankara. More than a thousand people gathered in the central square before police intervened. The demonstrations have largely cooled since early July, but the issue doesn't seem to have gone away. Many people in Turkey still feel unhappy with the government, and what opponents say is the prime minister's increasingly authoritarian style. Katerina Mo, BBC News.